welcome to the Synthetic Electron 3D channel. Today I set out to build a custom chamber heater for the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, but along the way I also had my first real experience printing with HTPLA, and honestly I learned as much about the filament as I did about the heater itself. I printed the housing in Polymaker's HTPLA, unannealed, and even so it held up way better in a hot chamber than regular PLA would. Big thanks to Polymaker for supplying the filament for this project. But print quality wasn't as straightforward as I expected. Corners came out bumpy, walls looked rough, and the very top of the part was especially inconsistent. At first, I thought it was just a spool drag issue, so I re-spooled some filament to test. That helped a little, but it wasn't the whole problem. The top section is only about three millimeters wide, and that kind of narrow geometry is always tough. With HTPLA, it seemed like the heat didn't have enough time to dissipate between layers. So the surface never really got a chance to settle before the next pass. Combine that with a little bit of feed resistance, and the finish turned out rougher than I'd expect. So, first impressions. Polymaker's HTPLA really does print like PLA, but it's less forgiving. It highlights cooling and feed setup issues that PLA usually hides. The upside is that you get a far better heat resistance without needing a high chamber temperature or worrying about toxic fumes. That makes it a strong middle ground between everyday PLA and engineering filaments like ASA or ABS. For the heater itself, I reused a pair of 24 volt ceramic cartridges from the Centauri Carbon Hot Ends. The plan was simple, mount them into a heat sink and use the fan to push the heat into the chamber. My first version used a pair of old Pentium CPU heat sinks. And yes, I must be really old if I've still got Pentium heat sinks lying around. That version added maybe 5 or 6 degrees, but stalled out quickly. Instead of designing and printing a new housing, I just tested a larger aftermarket heat sink with a fan set directly on top. Nothing fancy, just a quick hack. And surprisingly, it worked a little better than the Pentium version. Still not great, but enough to show the concept. At best, the chamber hit about 50 degrees Celsius uninsulated. For comparison, printing ASA already gets the chamber into the mid-40s just from bed heat. So this wasn't much of an upgrade. I would like to have come to you with more solid numbers, but it's been a hectic week, and I even had to switch CAD software in the middle of this project. That was a huge headache and slowed things down more than expected. This was really just an experiment, and for safety reasons, I don't recommend anyone replicate this setup. It's not effective enough to matter anyway, and there are much better options. If I take another run at this heater, I'll skip the heat sinks and cartridges entirely and just build around a proper PTC module. They're compact, inexpensive, and designed for this job. So here's the truth. This heater design isn't practical. It works, but not well enough to matter. But it gave me my first hands-on experience with HTPLA. It's more demanding than PLA, but it offers serious heat resistance without the need for high chamber temps or heavy ventilation. It's not a replacement for ASA or ABS, but it does fill a really useful middle ground. Before I wrap up, I want to welcome our very first channel member. Thank you for helping support experiments like this. I really appreciate it. Also, I'll be revisiting HTPLA soon in the context of the toolhead cover, so this isn't the last you'll see of it here. And assuming DHL sorts out my shipping snag, the PCBUA manufactured fan adapter is scheduled for next week's video. On top of that, YouTube just enabled super thanks on the channel, so if you'd like to throw some extra support behind what I'm building here, that option is now available too. And one more thing, I've seen a wave of remixes and variations on my last mod, which is really cool to see. Would you like me to put together a remix roundup video showcasing your designs? Drop a comment and let me know. Thanks, and if you found this useful or entertaining, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.